just a couple minutes ago you were telling me that in your whole life you've never liked to ask other people for help. You've liked to rely on yourself to take care of Juan and, and your family. Um, and now with this deportation case happening, you do have to ask for help from other people, from leaders in Washington and, and from the community that's rallying around Pedro. Um, what are you, how does that make you feel and what are you, what's going through your mind right now facing this deportation? What's going through my mind now is that for 25 years of Juan's life and the kids' life, I take pride in caring for my kids and my family. And to know that I have to put our lives and our struggles out for the public, uh, it's, it's hard for me to ask for help and, and, and to stand by me because I like to know that I can do this on my own and take pride in being a mother to not only my special need child, but to my family and my husband. And the only way that I can do this battle is to ask and reach out for help for people. This I can't do alone. This is not fixable by Celeste this time. I always try to make it happen. And people that's worked with me in the past and worked with my son says, oh no, she takes pride in taking care of that boy. But you know what? If I don't have my glue, which is Pedro Hernandez Ramirez, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to continue making it on my own. And the only person that has the power to change this and overturn this nightmare into a miracle is Obama. Please, I'm asking for help. Understand my struggles and intervene and make it happen, please.